Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Spin Sidelines. I'm Ruben Terado and of course, uh, we're hoping na safe kayong lahat dyan, mga readers natin with this enhanced community quarantine. And now we have another guest for today. Uh, of course, he's uh, one of the coaches in the PBA, uh, one of the new coaches uh, for the coming season and of course, also a champion during his uh, playing days. Uh, let's all welcome uh, Coach Jeff Carriaso of Alaska. Coach, uh, good day to you. Hi, hi Ruben. Um, thank you for um, having me on. Uh, ang gandang umaga sa lahat na nanonood or listening. I appreciate it. So, nice to be here. Mm. Of course, Coach, uh, the latest from your end is yung uh, nagkaroon ka, you started out this uh, d- uh, donation drive uh, for our, the PBA uh, non-regular employees. Could you talk about that and how did it started then uh yun um kumusta naman well um th- that idea naman came came about um i, I kind of stole it from the nba guys and um <laughs> i saw that that when the quarantine started and na cancel na yung nba game um a lot of the nba players um were were offering to, to pay the wages of those people who work for the home coliseum, yung mga nagwo work for their home 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 team, um, specifically the people at the coliseum. So I said, "Go, what can we do for our PBA people?" Um, I know that there's a lot who are who who don't have monthly salaries. So that's what that was where this whole conversation started. So I I talked to our manager um, boss Dicky Bachman and our our team owner boss Fred with and uh, they thought it would be a great idea if we can start something where you can help those people um, the employees who are really relying on um, the PBA games um, um, to earn to earn something so yun dun sa nagsimula um, we we got the ball rolling and 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 we want to thank a lot of people for their support Coach, uh, talk about the response ng mga players. Uh, how was it? And uh, ano bang latest? Uh, how many? Kung, kung if you could, uh, siguro, pwede mo ni siguro sabihin kung how much was uh, yung na-donate. Uh, but first, how was the response? Uh, well, the response was really positive. Um, right mm-hmm. when I tweeted, so dun lang naman ako nag-ano, eh, nag- nag-announce no? Na, um, through my Twitter. So all I did was tweet, and then um, I started to receive a lot of messages from a lot of players, um, coaches, also um, um, a couple, a few close friends of mine who are PBA fanatics. Um, and then it turned out to where where a whole team. So I was able to speak to Coach Nash and his whole Blackwater team also supported. So um, you know, there's been a couple governors who called. So yun. Um, the, the the 42 who donated is composed are composed of um, players, coaches, um, one whole team, and um, a couple governors. So it's a very appreciative tayo sa sa tulong nila. Um, I'm sure a lot of our PBA um, employees will be very happy. And of course, siempre we're all wishing na matapos na itong ano yung ating uh, lockdown or itong ating situation but coach uh, to another topic naman uh, of course there's an interesting na nakikita ko sa inyong ano eh uh, social media accounts yung uh, home workout challenge niyo very interesting eh no na we see uh-huh. your players uh, working out even you coach nakita ko mukhang asali ka rin <laughs> sa challenge na yun uh, paano ba nagsimula yun coach <laughs> Medyo napipilitan tayo eh. <laughs> um, what, what, what's funny and, and, and pretty awesome about that was, uh, I mean, you know, during during the first week or two of the quarantine, um, you, you're hoping that after two, three weeks, um, things will be back to normal. So I, I try to encourage the guys in a way where um, they can still stay in some form of shape. Kasi sayang eh, pa-start na kami. Oh, I remember, our first game was 
that week na inannounce na may quarantine. Oh, eh. right, right. So ready ready na yung team, excited na kami lahat. Eh. So I, I didn't want to lose that momentum. So sabi ko, let me start something. Um, so I started something called the home workout challenge. So yun, nag-pick up naman lahat ng mga players. Uh, sumusunod naman sila. So it, it, it turned into something that again, part of their schedule, part of their everyday activity. Um, and I, I go, make sure you tag me. Make sure you tag me so I can see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so at the beginning, <laughs> ganun siya nagsimula. So ngayon, you know, they're just doing it on their own and Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's important that eh? you have to be able to stay in some form of shape. Kaya, do you think? Yeah. Coach, do you think dahil rin doon eh, naging close din yung team? Because even in these uh, times, tough times? I, I mean, you know, you know, Ruben, that's actually a, a really good question. You know why? Because that's really a part of it. That That's the reason mm-hmm. why we do something like that where kahit pa paano engage yung mga players sa isa't isa, kahit pa paano um, we're communicating um, and then at the same time we're hopefully we're having fun so mm. um, again this the, these are times that medyo iba medyo challenging mm-hmm. and we are we don't know how long it's gonna last so um, you know we're just trying to stay creative so that, that's really idea and then we're happy with the turnout so far mm. Coach, I'm just curious with this uh, during these tough tough times. Um, do you still? Uh, kumusta naman yung uh, team or yung coaching staff in terms of maybe preparing for the season with this uh, major uncertainty? Eh? Do you still talk about like uh, strategies at this point? Na kahit na medyo, you know, there's an uncertainty. Uh, how? Kumusta naman yung dynamics nyo sa team niyo in terms of that aspect? The, the the uncertainty is really the challenge, no? So hindi natin alam kung magsisimula ba tayo, you know, May 1? Or is it, will it be extended till after? Um, I think we're all gonna be waiting for an announcement by our president come April 14, no? Yun yung huling. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, ano niya, protocol niya is we'll see until April 14th. But we're expecting that to be extended because I think our numbers of affected um, people are, are are getting higher. But does it affect us? I think it does. No, it, it, mm. it, it's hard. I mean, I mean, you can only watch so many games. You can only watch so many. Um, you can all, all, only think of so many strategies during this time. But but, but what with what we do, I think you know it really is true when they. Say practice makes for thicket. So, co- mm-hmm. not being a- able to come together and really practice and work out, it really affects how you do things. So, mm-hmm. marami ka naman iniisip, pero hindi nyo naman nagagawa because nga we're, we're quarantined. It, it makes yeah. it a little difficult. So, mm-hmm. um, um, that that's the hard part. But again, we're trying to be proactive. Um, the coaching mm-hmm. staff will get together in a in a Zoom meeting like this, and okay, yeah. um, you know, we'll, we'll discuss you know basketball a little bit, um, but it's hard. Eh? I'm, I'm not gonna mm-hmm. lie to you; it's, it's challenging at this point. You know, you can't be too yeah. detailed because you cannot apply it. Mm-hmm. And coach, because siempre when if the PBA decides to make, to lift the suspension, of course, hindi naman, I'm sure hindi agad uh, maglalaro eh. Uh, do you also see that that uh, you'll be given uh, enough time and, and for you and why yung uh, right uh, right time na i mean yung gap between the kung kailan kailan dapat mag-resume uli yung mga games right so so i have a thought on that so if if, mm-hmm. if it were to last if this quarantine mm-hmm. would have lasted only let's say a couple weeks so na delay yes. lang tayo ng 2 weeks I th- mm. think going back and being able to to resume practice, you won't be you won't lose what what is it you've been working for the last two months. Eh? So yes. conditioning, you know, guys, mm. saying is a sharpness, um, and lahat na, lahat na yun. But I think since it's it's rolling over, so pagdating ng April 40, magiging mga one month na to, eh, magiging four weeks mm-hmm. where there's absolutely um, no no basketball activities for the team. So, mm-hmm. I think that's a different dynamic. You have to look at it differently at that point. Mm-hmm. So, pwede pa nga maging longer to eh. 
So, but if yes. we were to resume practice, sabi natin April 15, one month mm-hmm. na yon. So I mm-hmm. think you have to really start from scratch. That's yes. that's really the challenge there. You know, it, oh, it, it, it won't be easy. Eh. So, mm-hmm. Bill, I hope the PBA will give us uh, at least two, three weeks to to prepare. Mm-hmm. Pero going into that again after the one month of being quarantined you're gonna have to approach it like we're starting over. Okay, medyo mabigat nga yun, coach, no? Yeah, uh, starting forward, over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, yun nga, um, speaking of yung preparations ninyo, you had a very impressive uh, off-season no? before this uh, <laughs> this uh, thing na nangyari sa atin. And, uh, could you talk about yung ano preparations nyo and uh, were you satisfied with the results of uh, during uh, the preparations niyo uh, for the Philippine Cup? Um, I, I'd like to say that that um, in regards to our staff, we we're happy with our preparations the two months before the Open. So regardless of what happens during the practice game, I think that preparation was um, very detailed, specific, and we. We got out of it what we wanted. So mm. we know that we're a young team and we are we, we, we're a young, fairly young team with a lot of new faces. So, so the challenge there is just being able to have experience under your belt, being able to have games under your belt. That's mm. really the challenge. So um, um, we were happy again with how we, we, we approached it. Um, we weren't in the tip-top shape to start the conference, and I don't think you want to be in tip-top shape. But we were we were at a good pace, no? We we're at a good good pace in regards to um, guys understanding roles, um, conditioning was 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 high, um, guys learning to trust each other more, um, and then just being able to 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 put that on the court and. And, and gain more experience. I, I think that was something that that we were able to accomplish during the offseason. Mm. Coach, um, in my opinion, no, one of the uh, siguro impressive na player from the Aces during the preseason was Mike De Gregorio. So, uh, could you could you talk about this uh, his role in the team? And uh, are you also happy with this performance during the offseason? So yeah, Mike. Mike is someone I think we were really happy um, to 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 find a way to get him over to us. No, we we're happy mm-hmm. with the trade. Um, I know we haven't played our first official game yet, mm-hmm. um, but you see the type of person that Mike is. Uh, um, we're really happy um, on and off the court, on and off mm-hmm. the court. So my Mike brings you again. You know, his number one, his work ethic is is phenomenal no um, I have to be the one to actually tell him to pull back mm-hmm. I'm the one Mike relax ka muna, take a day off so okay. um, mm. you know work ethic is, is not a question for him and then number two it's just really his mind his, his, um, he, he, he's a smart player mm-hmm. he understands strengths and weaknesses um, you know he, he's a team player um, you know all he wants to really do is, is be a part of, a, of of something where you know it's it's number one goal is to win obviously and and he understands that so he knows he plays a big role and we expect him to play um, mm-hmm. you know, a, a huge role for us and um, mm-hmm. moving forward so. coach of course si Vic Manuel we expect uh, alam na natin kung what he can bring but uh I believe, uh, tingin ko, coach, this will be already, parang talagang siya na yung face of Alaska with all the movements that happened. But coach, what what can we expect from Vic Manuel or what do you see in Vic Manuel for the coming season na um, perhaps different from other seasons? Right. Well, I, I think what we can expect more from Vic is a more consistent Vic. Um, and it doesn't, and, it, mm-hmm. and I mean that not just with the scoring, you know, because we know mm-hmm. Naman that Vic is, is mm-hmm. um, you know, he's a scorer and you give him the ball, you know, he can do wonders, you know, in regards to that aspect. But uh, what we're challenging with Vic is really the other aspects. So, um, 
Um, defensively, he has to understand how big of a role he plays. And I think when I say consistency, um, that's what we're going to expect to see uh, more more of from Vic is really playing both ends mm-hmm. of the court. No? So, malaking mm-hmm. bagay to Vic. So, he has to understand the defending and rebounding and, you know, being understanding what we're doing on the pick and roll is, is all really a, a huge part of the overall picture. So, if he if he wants to level up in what he's already established, then mm-hmm. this is the way to do it. And and I think that's what you're going to see. Mm-hmm. Coach, uh, let's talk about naman yung ikaw being the head coach of Alaska. Of course, uh, this will this coming season will be your first full season with the team. Uh, right. So far, how's ano na? How's your uh, so the adjustment? Do you think talagang uh, naka-adjust ka na ng maigi with this uh, new job? And uh, do you see, of course, may, uh, your first conference, uh, not not good yung record niyo, but you picked it up late in the Governor's Cup. So what can you say about the coming conference muna? With you uh, now uh, having an experience now or with time yeah. to prepare the team? Yeah. Yeah. You know, again, uh, I think the the luxury of time um, to prepare was really crucial, and it's really important for for any coach. No, so going into this all Filipino, the reason why we're very confident, very optimistic, is because you know we had the time to prepare. Mm-hmm. So um, that's where we are now. That's where we are now. So um, um, you know, the, the the team has really the potential to do something special, and and I think. Um, the path that we're on to achieve that is is has to be consistent, and we have to stay stay on that path. Mm-hmm. Um, um, how has it been for me? I think personally, it's been you know it's it, it's always going to be a challenge. It's mm-hmm. always going to be um, um, an important you know position in regards to how I approach things, but. Uh, I think with the staff behind me, and and I do have the staff that I'm comfortable and and, and confident with. Um, I think us together we can we can make sure that we put these guys in the in the right position, um, mm-hmm. put them in a right situation where they can not only showcase each other's skills but um, mm-hmm. showcase um, the team that we want, no, the team that we foresee. So um, yeah, like I said, you know, experience lang yung kulang namin, you know, a little bit more mm-hmm. games under our belt and um, yeah. us playing together and us going through the hard times and and mm-hmm. finding ways to to stay positive um, is is really is really where you gain that experience. So, mm-hmm. um, but so far it's been it's been really it's been really exciting and challenging. Mm-hmm. Coach, down to sigur final few questions, but uh, what to ask about your thoughts naman tungkol sa San Miguel. Uh, they, they, yun lang, uh, they won their uh, only game so far of the Philippine Cup. Uh, from what you've seen, kung napanood mo man yung game or from what uh, what you've heard, uh, what can you say about uh, San Miguel? Is the result something that uh, you uh, unexpected or expected? Uh, just your general no. thoughts about San Miguel I, in that uh, first the game. First, the first time I think may nagtanong sa akin if if um, if San Miguel or even Hinebra mm-hmm. if they're still the favorites during this conference all Filipino. I said yes. I said without a question, sila pa rin yung, yung front runners. And I say that because Gosh, they, they have the experience and they still have the players. I, I know San Miguel um, is not going to be with Junmar this season. But they have more than capable and experienced um, and really tough players remaining and um, where where they will still be the current runners come season time. And, you know, preseason, it doesn't... You know that that doesn't count it. <laughs> so that's why that's that's why I don't put too much into the preseason game, to be honest yes. with you. So mm-hmm. happy you get you get a few wins, but you know iba pa rin yung yung pagka totoo na, no? So and they displayed that come you know during that that opening game versus Magnolia. Kita mo naman agad how how the level that they can play. And yes. you know it just shows that again, exp- you know experience and and 
tenacity and togetherness uh, I think mm-hmm. can still can still overcome. Mm-hmm. Okay coach, uh, siguro final question na lang at least for this uh, episode uh, siguro no ano lang uh, what can you say what do you expect from the Alaska Aces as a whole for the coming season? Uh, just your general thoughts lang na for the coming season. Right. Um to be honest with you um Ruben, I, I'm really excited with with what we're gonna do, you know. So right now, I think we are at a point where guys are enjoying playing together. Mm-hmm. So um, you know, we all have a goal. All 12 teams, they all have a goal to win the championship. So whether it's all Filipino, second or third partners. So that doesn't change on how we approach things. I mean, why mm-hmm. why else are we here if you're not trying to win it all? No, mm-hmm. so um, our our goal is to win, is to win every day, and then we'll see where that takes us. Um, mm-hmm. um, we we understand that you know other teams may are more experienced. We understand other teams may be more talented, but um, I'm really foreseeing us to to to, to be one of those teams that's going to be able to find a way um, to be successful. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we do have the talent. Um, I think we do have the the camaraderie that that it's gonna take. Um, so now it's really just up to the staff to to again put them in the right position and and mm-hmm. and, and so they can showcase and really perform at a high level. So, mm-hmm. coach, ano na lang message to the uh, Alaska fans? I uh, I think uh, the Alaska fans are one of the most loyal fan base uh, PBA, no? Uh, outside, yeah. champion in Ginebra and. They like so message to all uh, the uh, Alaska fans. Yeah, to so, all the Alaska Aces um, fans out there, we appreciate again your undivided support. Um, you know, we we appreciate you cheering us on and and, and praying for us. Um, a, a lot of you will message um, and let us know how you feel. And um, you let us know that you're praying. Let us know that you're supporting us through through the ups and that and and down. So we hope that this coming season we we bring a team, and showcase a team that that you'll be even more proud of. Um, you know, our goal doesn't change in trying to win that 15th championship, and mm-hmm. you're a big part of it. So we hope that again we can remain consistent, and you know we can only promise that we will again, you know, stay together and and give our best each and every game. Thank you very much, uh, Coach. Uh, of course, uh, we thank you for you know, uh, spending time with us. Well, mag-uusap pa tayo <laughs> mamaya. Uh, no problem, yeah, mamaya. Yeah. Yeah. Sige lang. <laughs> so, so, guys, that was uh, Coach Jeff Carriasso of the Alaska Faces. We will have more of uh, Coach Jeff in the coming episode. But for the meantime, thank you for joining us here on Spin Sidelines.